Your company wants to reward the best salespersons with a trip to Paris. The criteria to participate will be that the salesperson's revenue in each analyzed month is above the average revenue. Since you want to test for two criteria at the same time, in addition to the if function, you will also need the and, or, or function. This learning module will show you how to use the and, and, or functions. If you want to test for two criteria at the same time, you always need a combination of the if and the and or or functions. To have Excel determine the ranking, click in the cell where you want the results to be displayed first. Then launch the function wizard by clicking this button. Select the if function now. The if function causes the content of the cell in which it's entered to depend on one of the conditions that's been specified in the function. It requires three arguments in total. The logical test argument is the condition to be tested and returns either the value true or the value false. The value if true argument specifies which result is to be displayed in the cell if the condition is met, that is, if it's true. And the value if false argument specifies which result is to be displayed in the cell if the condition is not met, that is, if it's false. In our example, the salesperson only receives their bonus if the revenue of all three months is higher than the average revenue. So you need a function for your logical test argument that can decide whether several conditions are met. The AND function does exactly that. Click the arrow button of the name field first and select the AND function. Specify the arguments in the opened dialog box. First, you want to compare the revenue for the month of August with the average revenue. Click in the corresponding cell and enter the more than character using your keyboard to define the type of comparison. And then click on the value to compare it to. Finally, press the F4 key to create an absolute reference. Only then can you copy the formula later using the autofill function without any problems. Go to the logical 2 entry field and repeat these steps for the month of September. Enter the more than character using your keyboard to define the type of comparison and then click on the value to compare it to. Press the F4 key again. You can track the current state of your complete function anytime in the formula bar. Repeat these steps again for the third and last condition. When you have specified all arguments of the AND function, click the IF function in the formula bar. The function wizard takes you back to the dialog box for this function and lets you define the remaining arguments. Only if all conditions of the AND function are met will the logical test return the value true. So type YES for the value IF TRUE argument. and for the value if false argument, type no. Confirm your entries by clicking OK. 
copy the function to the cells below to determine the results for all salespersons. All salespersons who have achieved revenues above the monthly average revenue in all three months have been assigned a yes, while all others have been assigned a no. The OR function has a similar syntax. It also uses conditions as arguments and links them together. But it requires only one of the conditions to be met to return the value true for the logical IF test.